I'm Monica Price and welcome to Cuppa TV. On today's show, I'm joined by two ladies, DJs and presenter Shazzy D and Lady Destiny. Also joining me today is a band that's been on the show before, Little Liam. My first guests today are Shazzy D and Destiny, both DJs and presenters. So welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining me on Cup of TV. Thanks for having us. Wonderful to see you. And the first thing I must say is I love your earrings. <laughs> <laughs> you. They're so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and your T-shirts, ladies. Tell us about these T-shirts. I'll let Shazzy explain it. OK, oh, right. right. Um, Come on, then. <laughs> uh, we have a, a friend in the promotion business that we're both involved with. Yes. And his daughter, who's a sickle cell sufferer, has got a new record out. And it's called Just Not Saying a Word. So we came up with a brilliant idea of going around and doing little video blogs within the community and getting it out there on all social media networks and everything is just, shh, don't say a word. So we're trying to get everyone involved. People that we meet, we tell them, we'll ask them to say, shh, don't say a word after they introduce what it's all about. It's just getting it out yeah. there. Fantastic. Just, just making people raising more awareness. Of a, raising raising yeah. awareness for sickle cell yeah. and thalassemia. Excellent. Well, ladies, let's talk about you as well. So, where shall I start? <laughs> you do so much together. Yeah, we but do. Destiny, you're a DJ, aren't you? You've been a DJ for over 15 years yes, now. So, yes. tell us a little bit about how all that started. Well, it started by, uh, oh, this is a very long story. Oh, we've so, got I, long you've time. got a Don't long worry, time. That's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> there was this guy who wanted to form a female DJ group. And um, people was, um, they were listening to radio stations and they heard my show, they heard other people's show, and they wanted to bring all us together mm -hmm. to form one. So it was called Female Connection. And um, myself and Sandra B, who we do a radio show, still together. And that's how it formed from then, really. We used to play out different parties, different venues and stuff like that. Wow. That's how I came about. And that's how come. you came yeah. about. And then yeah. how about you, Shazidia? How did you this meet? Did you meet Destiny? No, I've known Destiny for a good few years now. Destiny? Since... Destiny. <laughs> Destiny. Yeah. Destiny to me. It had to be said. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> known Destiny for a very long time, yeah. even being on holiday together in... Um, it was Tenerife, wasn't it, back yeah. in the day? Um, friends that knew each other, but not friends that travelled around together. Yeah. And then a few months ago, in part of promoting the young lady from this, Leisha Mack um, and Gatecrash Promotions, we were introduced, we were asked to be interviewed on a radio station, um, which was um, by Mikey D. Mm. And he then asked us if we would consider doing a, a radio show hosting um, interviews with people from the community whatever and that's how we actually formed together yeah. oh. to do what we now do on Arawak Radio. So it's Arawak Radio yeah. isn't it that you yeah. actually work together on yeah and tell us a little bit about that is it on the internet how, how yes, do people it's internet based. Right. it's on okay. www.arawak radio mm -hmm. um, and what we do we invite guests on each week if we can and interview them it's all about fun and um, getting people to express themselves um, it's, it's a laugh we would like for you to come on, actually, one of oh, the Oh, I'd love to, yeah, yeah. No, that would be great. And do you have, what sort of guests do you have? All sorts from the, from the community? From the community. Any, anybody from the community. So We've whereabouts are Kelly. Oh, D. Kelly, D. yes, Kelly. Yeah. So D. Been Kelly's on. been on the yeah. show, yeah. of course. Okay, She's been yeah. on Cup of TV before. Yeah. So it really is, is it all about engaging with people in your community in the West yes. Midlands? Yes, it, it, it's, it is all about um, engaging with people in the community and business people uh, and just getting people on. And it's an interactive yeah. show. And we, we're a bit like Ant and Dec. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we're the female versions of Ant and Dec. We get them involved yes. in yeah, they reading involved out the telephone it. number. They're involved in that. Anything to do with the media, news, entertainment. They're not just coming on just to talk. Mm. They're about really, themselves. Yeah. We get the, they pick out little things from the news and they talk about yeah. it. Yeah. And we go into big discussion. And then, yeah. as we say, we get the public to ring in as well. Yeah. It Great. really is fun. So what's, who have you had on recently? Recently was, um, as I said, it was DK. Um, we had um, uh, a, the, the father of this young lady, yeah. of Leisha Mack, um, Gate Crash Bad Promotions, as well. and he's a big UK reggae promoter by the name of Legends of Legends, yeah. Trevor McIntosh. He was one of our first guests. Um, another guy who promotes a drinks company, yeah. Don Dodder Beverages, mm -hmm. and um, Grantley Haynes, yeah. a record so a real producer as well. Yeah, yeah. the makeup artist as well. Yes, yes. yes. yeah. She's yeah. perfect. She does like the special effects, 
Oh, so, yes. yes. So, like on movies. We'll leave you a number. Yes, yeah. 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 Makeup yeah. and everything. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Touring, everything. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And are you both enjoying that, ladies? Love yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Love it. We get so much fun and from it. And it's quite new as well, isn't it? It's quite a new. I mean, we've yeah. been going for about, what, what? eight, nine weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Eight, nine weeks. So it's still very fresh. And mm. what are the challenges for you both? What do you think? Committing to getting into Coventry <laughs> every Thursday and trying to yeah. get, get around the, um, the motorways. Motorways, yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. it's horrendous. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And yeah. there's a lot of roadworks happening as well, so you can imagine the delays and yes. that's the only thing. So but, it's just the logistics yeah. of it, really. Yeah. But the actual show itself, though, you both enjoy that. Yeah, yeah we've gone from yeah. a two-hour slot to a three-hour slot, mm -hmm. and that was by public demand, basically. Yeah. And they're also looking at us perhaps doing drive time. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I think we're both looking forward to it anyway, but yeah. we do enjoy it immensely. So that's on a Thursday. Yes. You know, 12 right? till 3. So, yeah, 12 till 3 on a Thursday. And I do Saturday, as I said before, with Sandra B. Yes. And then www.stingthem.com, a real wow. female connection. And we, that's where the night time comes into me and Sandra, but the daytime is me and Shazzy. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. great. But we, as, as members of the community as well, we're yeah. also involved with a lot of things. Um, yes. with the drum, I was going to say, drum tell us a little bit about what, what are you involved with? Right, well, just recently we were part of the Simmerdown Festival that oh, yes. took place in Hansworth mm -hmm. Park last week. I was one of the co-hosts for that along with um, Trevor McIntosh and Destiny was backstage as well with the artists. Yeah. So we assist the drum on that and we also do the UK Legends of Legends, which is an annual event that takes place as well. And so we try to get our hands in as many pies, so to speak, yeah. in terms of bringing the community together and just getting everybody involved in everything that we're involved with as well. And that, is that important for you as well, oh, Destiny? Oh, definitely. Uh, well, media is what I, that I'm interested in. And so getting into that kind of, you know what I mean? Opening up other doors, not just playing music, but getting to meet the artists, interviewing them. Stuff like that, being backstage involvement, you know, yeah. that's, that's very big. Thing. And when you're um, when you're interviewing the artists, do you, mm. do you often find, you know, do you, do you ask some awkward questions yes. or do you? Yeah, you do. Yes, she does. That she puts them on the spot too. too. <laughs> yeah, she has the name Lady, but she's no angel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's been the question that's caused the most sort of an awkward? Did you have an awkward moment with one of your um, guests where you asked a question? I must bear this in mind if, you're, if I'm going to be invited <laughs> yeah. on your show. I don't know if there's any like awkward questions, but it's like we try to get in like to find out more about. Yeah, the maybe person. ask questions that you yeah. would yeah. yeah. previously yes, made right. other yes. presenters may yeah. not have asked. Like, yeah. Not too personal. No. It's just something that sort of gets them really thinking because yes. yeah. it's not your standard mm. general question. Yeah. She will probe deep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She does. I'll, she probably I'll try. I'll try to. <laughs> but you like that. And, <laughs> and what about the the future then? Because I mean, this is fairly new. But what's going to be the future? I mean, daytime, nighttime as well. So. Have you got enough hours in your day? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. People just don't. Yes. People can't yeah. keep up with us. They say. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. On a on a more professional level, we would really love to be the black Anton Dick. Mm in the business yeah. we'd love to do something we, like yeah. that yeah. do exactly what you're doing yeah, yeah. interviewing yes. going around the, the world and interviewing yeah. like yeah. celebrities and stuff yeah. like that then coming to see us yeah i'd love to do that yeah Always wanted to do, do you that. find that um being in the midlands it's a good place for media and film and television yes, yes. definitely i think london's a little bit too fast because you're originally from london aren't yes, you I'm a, I, yes i'm a cockney i was yes. born in chelsea but yeah. um yeah i just think it's a little bit too fast and I just believe that within the Midlands and the further north you go, people are more friendly and there's just that more interaction. Mm. And so I, I think it would be good if we could start here mm. and then and expand, expand and expand. Big dreams, We've ladies. got a few holidays planned and we're yeah. going to be doing our own little blogs when we're yeah. away. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, social media now has really taken on its own art form, it's, isn't it? I mean, she's you the could, Twitter queen. Are you the Twitter queen? <laughs> and the Instagram, Instagram queen. queen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But yes. I mean, do you find that that engages with your audience, though, Destiny, when you're doing that you know, um, on social media? Both good and bad sometimes, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I haven't really... Well, I used to be on it more, like, probably a few months back, but I don't really use it to say, like, push it the way I'm, I'm supposed yes. to be pushing it, but I will be doing it like that now. Mm -hmm. I'm normally, like, putting up what I do daily or stuff like that, but now it's a good... It's definitely opening a lot of doors by pushing what I'm doing, like, the radio station. Um, the simmer down, I was doing yeah. a lot of um, footage for... You actually for did the 
yeah. the actual footage for yeah, him, didn't I you? I was like yeah. the first one to put the pictures of Simmer Down down and they were like retweeting it and stuff like that. So yeah. that, yeah. Got a massive response. I mean, the power of social media, I mean, I it, there's, there's lovers and haters of it. You yeah. know, it's, it's one of those, but what do you think about it? Is it good for your business, would you say? It's good for me. Yeah. yeah. I find it's been very good for us, yeah. In anything that we've been promoting, we've used the social media, especially for me, Facebook. Um, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, it. isn't it? Because you've got Facebook, the Instagram, and everything. There's yeah. so many different types of it, yeah. and and the younger generation again give us some new, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, different types so we can uh, communicate with each other. Yeah. But again, do you feel that's important as an industry and for ladies and for what you want to do? Yes. You know, yes, you I say do. you want I to be the you know, the next yeah. Yeah. black Anton and Deck. Yeah. Um, do you feel that's <laughs> going to be important? Yes, I definitely. do. Definitely, mm -hmm. and it's a way to reach the other side of the world, so yeah. to speak. At the click of a button. Exactly. You know, mm. before you can imagine it was always long winded, but now it's just there, yeah. it's instant. Yeah, and it's like really strange to be walking in the street and people say, Oh, you're I'm following you, or you're yeah. on my Facebook. Yes. You know, I get you recognised. <laughs> so you kind of feel like a, a little celebrity in a little oh, way. Oh, well, it's lovely. Yeah. Well, listen, ladies, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you for having me. And I'll be here. happy to see you again. So okay. thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Monica. We're just going to take a quick break now, but come back and join me after the break. to Cuppa TV. I'm joined now by Little Liam, the band you may previously have seen on Cuppa TV, and they're here today. Hi guys and girls. Hello. Hi. Hello. To do a little bit more music for us. So tell us what you're going to do, Ange. Um, we're going to play a song called Lonely People. Fantastic. Excellent. I'll leave you to it. Off you go. Thank you. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
brilliant. Brilliant. Thank so you, your man. next one, what's your next one you're going to do? It's called Nothing No One No How. Right, so before we do that, have you got any gigs coming up? Yeah, we've got a uh, next gig is August the 30th, which is at the Alfie Birds in Digworth. Uh, which I can't wait for. Great, yeah. brilliant. Tickets are available um, online, online as well. Six pound a ticket. Excellent. It'll be a great night. And are you going to play the trumpet now? I am indeed. Excellent. Yes. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure to meet you all again, guys, so go away. Love to speak. Have, have a great session. Thank yes. you. One, two, three, four. Twitter at Big Centre TV. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> the next song we're going to play is a song called Special One.
Special one.